What day is it? Day three of the trip? Day four of the trip? Depends when you count from. We can't remember if it's day three or four of the trip. That's how tired we are. All the days have blurred into one. Right, we're ready. We're ready? More or less. Cool. Today's going to be a big travelling day. We've got to get to the first checkpoint. Uh, I've had about two hours sleep because I was editing the video last night, so I'm going to try and get some sleep in the car, take advantage of that. We should catch up with some riders on the way. It looks like it's an eight or nine hour drive, and that's not including stops. Yeah, the start of the race went really well, and this is when things really start kicking off. So stay tuned for some more action. Thoughts on today? Sit in the car. Sit in the car and sleep. Like a frozen kind of wobbly espresso. It's quite nice. It looks healthy. But um, that, that <laughs> <laughs> this is the. Um, and then you're like, uh, this is the episode. I lived on this sort of thing in Trans Am. Sticking, <laughs> sticking to your 10,000 calories a day, yeah? Yeah, gas station food. Um, his fork's broken and he's on his way to hospital. Right. His partner. Uh, I don't think it's. Ultimate, it says I, I can't say if he can continue. I will relay anything to you. What's in there? Nothing. Water. <laughs> oh, the agent looks very healthy. <laughs> Doesn't it? Except that. <laughs> and they don't need to see that. And I think now Volvos are kind of like what Audis used to be, which was sort of the thinking man's car a little bit. Yeah. But you know, they do, they do more for cyber safety than anybody else. Yeah. They do more for kind of like safety features and stuff like that. Um, do you mean Josh? I mean Josh. Josh uh, sent us a message this morning to say that he's had some back issues. He's had spasming in his lower back. Uh, he thinks it's a, a continuation of something he, he had in a previous race. And he's pulled a plug in... Where was he? So he he felt that like he didn't have any any power really in his left leg, and uh, he didn't want to damage himself, and he wasn't really on pace. So yeah, he's uh, pulled the plug early. We're about 50 minutes away from the lead riders. We're going a bit out of our way to find them. Should be worth it to get some footage. Who have we got up ahead? Christoph. We've got Christoph, uh, Bjorn, and Ben. I don't know if they're going to be in the mood to chat though. So let's pass him after this, and let's let's go just set up a shot ahead. It is hot. It's very hot. So we're just catching up with Bjorn. Luckily, it looks like he's found a bike. He's not running the whole race. Here it is now. So we're still going to have a look for Christoph along the way and then head over to the first control. First control is in Clermont-Ferrand. Still a couple of hours away from here. This is Mike in control car one. We've just seen Bjorn. Uh, he's uh, looking all right, complaining from the heat a little bit. He's, he said it's not going the best. But he's uh, about how much? About 200 kilometers from control one. We're gonna go and try and f find Christoph now, who's uh, just a little way east of him and probably about the same distance away from Control 1. So they're looking like they might get here at there about 10 o'clock tonight, maybe if they go at the same rate as they're going now. So we're 15... What's happening now? Dominator. I can't see him going through <laughs> that fence. It is Pretty dominating the road, I would say. Really? Come on. So you're riding behind this. <laughs> This looks like it could be Ben and Paul. Hello there. Hi. How are you, sir? Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Okay. My, my kilometer counter doesn't work. Nothing worked for me. Only the navigation in the bot. Just trying to see if we can find Christoph. 
He's definitely stopped here looking at the trackers, but he won't have stopped for long. Yeah, this isn't the type of place you stop for more than 10 minutes. No. <laughs> It's an absolutely scorching day, so the riders are going to be struggling. We just uh, we just stopped off that supermarket there in a place called La Machine, which is quite fitting because Christophe is known as the machine. <laughs> Excellent. Right, happy? Do <laughs> you think you'll be in Clermont Ferrand uh, tonight? Tomorrow morning? Oh, this <laughs> evening. Yeah? What time? 10 30? Entirely in charcoal grey. Grey, like, I'm in some kind of grey, grey man, grey car. Grey car. It's a pretty grey place. Silver. So I might put a different t-shirt on, which is also grey. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so we just made it to the hotel. It's a really nice place. It took us a little bit longer than we expected because we took one wrong turn. So it's about half an hour, 40 minutes longer. But we're here. We're here first out of everybody. We're gonna have to head down into town, into the old town to find some good food, I think. And then yeah, wait for the riders who are gonna turn up about 10 o'clock onwards. I've only been sitting in a car, but I'm absolutely knackered from it. So we've got to make it obvious for the riders. So we've got some like banners and stuff in the car that we're gonna put out. Fully loaded. Hello, hello! <laughs> I think you made it just in time looking at that. <laughs> oh my god. We're so lucky, right? <laughs> well done, guys. Hello. It's How's it going? Really How's it going? Nice to see you. Pat. Francis. Louis, Lovely Pat. to meet you, Louis. All bikes through onto the oh, terrace. We've already been in the. There's a room, the meeting yeah, room. The room, the meeting room that they put them in for us, oh, wow. yeah. Don't ask me my feelings. Got none. None at all. I dislike Camille. What's the happen? What's the happen? What's the happen? Yeah, sorry, say again. Well, I, I dislike Camille because yeah, I why? think he got some good pictures. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. like, that's not what you said a minute ago. You said you dislike him because he's a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's just dawned on me that the riders are riding here in that. Look at the smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil, not smiling. Well, I'm smiling a bit. <laughs> Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. One, two, three, four. Five. Got the crystal. All oh, right, pretty wet. <laughs> Seven out of ten. We've got this whole room to ourselves. The riders are going to be here in about an hour's time, so we need to make the most of this to get the editing done. Antonin's going to join me. We're going to smash through this work. Probably be here till four in the morning again, and then we'll have to catch up with sleep in the car. Hopefully, sitting here is a pretty good vantage point, so we can see the soggy riders coming home. Food, food, food. I was waiting for the uh, thing that it's open, but uh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> because it's the Sunday, it was, it was yeah. horrible. Oh, it's terrible. Did you I stop? Know. Did you stop somewhere? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told it you, terrible. this is not the way I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really depends where you've been when the Sunday came. So. So if you were lucky, you don't need to stop. If it's just rain, but it's a blizzard everywhere. So no way. Want to see some applause? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm ill. I always shake the hand. But, um, I think I have a uh, chest infection. So I'm going to sleep tonight and then see. Basically, I thought my allergies have been really bad the past couple of days. I thought it was my allergies, but apparently it's not. 
and it became pretty apparent early on that I got a real nasty chest infection. So I was going to sleep and then wake up and see. Um, yeah. See if they have rooms, I guess. If not, I found somewhere else and done. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we were thinking they did. I've already, I've already had one. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. Yeah, other than KFC, it's been really efficient. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>